and welcome. Wow, what a crowd. This is awesome. My name is Joanne Gwynn, and I'm with the Community Relations Group here at Barnes & Noble Lincoln Triangle. Before we get started, I just want to go over a couple housekeeping items. If you could check your cell phone to make sure they're off, that would be awesome. And if you're planning on taking um, photos during the, the um, event, if you could turn off the flash photography. And at the end of the program, just as far as the signing portion of it, if everybody can just remain seated, we're going to start with the signing on this side so that we can kind of remain in some type of assemblance and order, okay? When I first saw this event on our calendar, I did a little dance of joy inside. The subject matter was so relevant to me when I began to do my research of tonight's author, I thought to myself, how can I mention all of her accomplishments in just 30 seconds and do any sense of justice? An editor, writer, and nationally recognized authority on women and family issues. For more than three decades, she has led the way, forging our path for equality, self-love, and acceptance. She was the first editor of Ms. Magazine and today contributing editor of Moore Magazine. It's a tremendous privilege and honor to welcome to our stage the author of her newest book, 50 is the New 50, Suzanne Braun Levine. Thank you all for coming. This is so exciting and so gratifying. And for those of you who are outside, I'm told that you'll be able to hear. Uh, is that, can you hear? Yes? yes? Okay. Right. Women always come up to the microphone and the first thing they say is, can you hear me? <laughs> um, well, the first thing I want to say about uh, 50 is the new 50 and the topic we are here to discuss, which is why 50 is the new 50, uh, is that the, the, um, that's not the whole uh, title. The whole title should be 50 is the new 50, 60 is the new 60, and 70 is the new 70, and who cares about birthdays anyway? Uh, <laughs> Well, um, uh, I'm so delighted with this panel, not only because they're wonderful in their own right, but because they represent and embody uh, all of the ideas that I write about and you care about. Uh, first of all, demographically, uh, they range in age from 50 to 75. Some of us could be others of our mothers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we are married, divorced, single, widowed. We have children and no children. And we have had very interesting lives. But all of us have changed our lives in the last couple of years, in this stage that I call second adult. And some of us have changed our lives in ways that are immediately discernible. We've changed careers, we've changed our look, we have changed uh, where we live. Others of us have changed our lives in ways that only we understand are very, very profound. And whether the world knows you've changed or you know you've changed, um, it's a big deal. And the best thing about us is that we are all at the height of our power. <laughs> and uh, we feel that this is the most exciting time, I assume. I'm putting words in your mouth, but you'll tell us if I'm wrong. Um, I just want to say a little about each of these women and why I'm so happy that they said yes. Um, Donna Edwards, who is Congresswoman from Maryland, and... <laughs> She is one of the most exciting politicians around. She is, um, she is outspoken and brave and brings to mind 
Bella Abzug, who is my <laughs> ideal and about whom Mary Tom, who is in the back, and I uh, did an oral history. So we need, we need more Bellas. And Donna that made change in her life, I think I, I'll characterize it, she will amplify. She went from working to make change within an institution to actually putting herself out there. And that is a gigantic step. Um, Isabella Rossellini um, has always pushed the frontiers of her art, only more so as the years have gone by. Um, from blue velvet to green porno. <laughs> and I would say that she's having more fun now than then. Um, Gloria has always been where change is. And for those of us who find change so frightening and um, challenging, uh, she has always been there making it look very inviting. Um, Gloria has also given us the phrase to live by, which is when at her 40th birthday when somebody said, you don't look 40, she said, this is what 40 looks like. We've been lying about it so long. That we <laughs> so she, what she did with that wonderfully turned phrase, uh, Gloria speaks in buttons, <laughs> uh, uh, was that she uh, encouraged us to tell the truth. Um, and she has also told the truth about the truth <laughs> in another button, which is, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. <laughs> um, Leslie Jane Seymour uh, is the editor of Moore Magazine, and she has grown up with us. She, from YM to Red Book to Marie Claire, she has been editing for our generation, basically, all along. And Moore Magazine, with which I've been associated uh, for uh, quite a while, is the, our magazine, really. It's the magazine that is monitoring our changes and our progress and our achievements. So, without further ado, I will turn over the whole conversation to Leslie, who will lead us in prayer. <laughs> We're going to sing Kumbaya, right? 